Could digital currency be the new face of neocolonialism in Africa? It's a question worth pondering, don't you think? To unravel this, let's first understand the term neocolonialism. It's a modern form of colonialism where countries subtly exert influence over others, not through brute force, but through economic, political, or other soft power means. It's less about direct rule and more about remote control. Now, let's shift our focus to digital currency. It's a revolutionary tool that's quickly reshaping the global transaction landscape. Digital currencies with their borderless nature and rapid transaction times are making waves in the financial world. So, where do these two concepts cross paths in Africa? How does the rise of digital currencies potentially play into the hands of neo-colonial powers? Could this new financial tool, hailed for its potential to democratize finance, be subtly used as a form of control? To understand this better, let's dive into a real case study, Nigeria. Nigeria, Africa's biggest economy, launched its digital currency, the Enaira, in October 2021. This marked a significant stride in the country's financial landscape, positioning it at the forefront of digital currency innovation in Africa. The Enaira, a project spearheaded by the Central Bank of Nigeria, is more than just a modern convenience. It's a symbol of a nation leveraging technological advances to aid its economic growth. This digital currency was introduced with the promise of transforming the way Nigerians transact, making the process smoother, faster, and more efficient. Imagine this, no more need to carry wads of cash, no more long queues at the bank, and no more high transaction fees. The Anaira offers a seamless digital solution to these age-old problems. It's like having your bank right in your pocket. And this isn't just about making life easier for the middle class and the wealthy. The Anaira has the potential to bring the benefits of banking to the unbanked, a significant portion of Nigeria's population. This is financial inclusion in action. Moreover, the Central Bank of Nigeria is not just a silent actor in this digital revolution. They play an active role in ensuring the stability and security of the Anaira, monitoring transactions, and maintaining the integrity of the system. They are the guardians of this digital frontier, holding the reins of this new monetary form. But the Anera is more than just a digital currency, it's a trailblazer, a beacon for other African nations to follow. It places Nigeria at the vanguard of a potential digital currency revolution on the continent. And who knows, in a few years we may see a digital currency boom across Africa, all thanks to Nigeria's pioneering efforts. But as we dig deeper, a more complex picture begins to emerge. Yes, the Anara offers numerous benefits but it also raises new questions, new challenges and new concerns. And that, dear listeners, is where our story truly begins. Despite the promising narrative, the implementation of the Anara has been met with skepticism. A wave of apprehension has swept across the nation with Nigerians questioning the implications of this digital transition. The primary concern lies with the potential for increased governmental control over personal finances. Imagine a world where every transaction, every purchase, every financial decision is under the watchful eye of the government. This is the reality that many Nigerians fear. The Anaira, while it promises convenience and economic growth, also opens up a Pandora's box of potential privacy intrusions and financial control. The question remains, will the government respect the boundaries of personal finance, or will this become another tool for political leverage? Another stumbling block on the road to digital currency is the glaring lack of infrastructure. For a country where a significant proportion of the population still grapples with basic amenities like electricity and internet access, the leap to digital currency seems a bridge too far. How can we talk about Enaira when millions of Nigerians still struggle to access reliable internet? This glaring digital divide casts a long shadow over the bright promises of Enaira. Beyond these domestic concerns there lies a larger, more ominous issue. The role of foreign influence such as from the United States, Europe, or China, is a matter of concern. The question is, to what extent is this foreign influence shaping the future of Africa's digital economy, and more importantly, at what cost? These concerns, both domestic and international, paint a complex picture of the Anaira. On one hand, it promises a new era of financial inclusion and economic growth, on the other, it has the potential to exacerbate existing inequalities and further entrench foreign influence. This raises concerns about the potential for digital currency to become a tool for neocolonialism. Could the Anera be a means for foreign countries to exert control over Nigeria? This question brings us to the heart of our discussion. The intersection of neocolonialism and digital currency, in this case, Nigeria's Anera. 
Let's take a step back and look at traditional colonialism. It was a time when foreign powers exerted control through physical occupation and resource exploitation. They had their boots on the ground, their flags hoisted high and their hands deep in the resource-rich soils of Africa. They controlled the economy, manipulated trade, and determined the political landscape. Fast forward to today and we see a shift in the methods, but not in the intent. We are in the era of digital colonialism or neo-colonialism, where control is exerted not through physical occupation, but through digital means. And the Anaira could potentially be a tool in this new form of control. Consider this. The creation and management of the Anaira involves significant foreign involvement. Foreign entities are involved in the design, the technology, the security, and even the rollout of this digital currency. So, who really controls the Anaira? Is it the Central Bank of Nigeria or these foreign entities? And if it's the latter, what does that mean for Nigeria's economy? In the traditional colonial era, control over resources equaled control over the economy. In the digital era, control over a nation's digital currency could potentially mean the same. It could lead to foreign entities determining the monetary policy, manipulating the economy, and even impacting the socio-political landscape of Nigeria. We need to understand that the potential for digital currency to be used as a tool for neocolonialism is not just a concern for Nigeria, it's a concern for all of Africa. It's about preserving sovereignty, maintaining control over national resources, and ensuring that the wealth of Africa benefits its people and not foreign entities. The potential for digital currency to be used as a tool for neocolonialism is a concern not just for Nigeria, but for all of Africa. It's clear that the issue of neo-colonialism and digital currency in Africa is complex. This intricacy stems from the interplay of political, economic and digital factors that shape the continent's trajectory. We've looked at Nigeria's digital currency landscape, seeing both promise and peril in the rise of central bank digital currencies. We've also unveiled the realities of these currencies, which, while potentially transformative, might also serve as tools for 21st century neo-colonialism. This is particularly true if foreign selected African leaders are given the reins of this digital revolution. The balance between progress and sovereignty is a delicate one. Indeed, the digital era has brought neo-colonialism into sharp focus. The implications are profound and understanding them is crucial. This is not merely about economic and technological advancement, it's about the very essence of self-determination and autonomy. As Africa embraces the digital revolution, it must remain vigilant to ensure its economic sovereignty isn't compromised. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.